Did you know that the statement you should never peel potatoes because in the skin are most of the nutrients is wrong? This was investigated by Augustine in 1979 and Telly in 1983 and what they found out is even though the skin is high in dietary fiber, the vast majority of all nutrients are still stored in the potato flesh. Also, a lot of the nutrients get lost anyways when potatoes are boiled or baked, so if you don't like the skin, there is nothing wrong with just removing it. Potatoes fall into one of two categories. Mealy, to which the russet potato belongs, and Vaxi, where red blitzings are part of. The mealy potato is high in starch and low in water, what makes them perfect for mashed potatoes. The Vaxi ones are the opposite and are perfect for deep fried potatoes because they can maintain their shape better than mealy. But what about air fryer potatoes? I tried both to find out which one is better. So I peeled 250 gram of waxy potatoes first and cut them into thick long planks. 250 gram of raw potatoes have around 193 calories and 5 grams of protein, which is pretty good unless you make the same mistake like so many people. They place the potatoes into a bowl and then they just add a couple of tablespoons of olive oil because hey, Olive oil is healthy, right? What you don't realize is that they are adding so many calories. In my case, I added 21 gram of oil, which is 189 calories, and almost the amount that deep frying in oil will add. Instead of adding oil with a bottle, please consider buying a spray. This adds around 10 to 20 calories per second of spray and is much better to control the amount of calories you are adding. I will use about two seconds. Now we'll also only add a pinch of salt and no other seasoning for this video to give you an accurate comparison and give this a shake. Before I add them into my air fryer, I will first preheat it to 200 degrees Celsius or 400 F for three minutes. So the basket will be hot, which will help crisping up the potatoes. I will bake them for 25 minutes in total. Also, you don't need to wash your potatoes in water to remove the excess starch to prevent sticking. The beauty of an air fryer is that you can interrupt the baking to shake the basket to prevent sticking. You don't have to worry about losing the heat like in the oven. Because the area is so small, everything is at 200 degrees Celsius again after a few seconds. Alright, after 25 minutes, this is the result. They have a golden brown color and are relatively crispy. Looks promising, but what about the taste? So, as expected, they taste like plain potatoes. This is fine, but the thing with waxy potatoes is that they are kind of empty and not fluffy at all. So I tried everything again, but this time I used 250 gram of mealy potatoes. Remember, these are high in starch and should have a fluffy interior, but also less crunch on the outside. I seasoned them again only with salt, baked them for 25 minutes after three minutes of preheating, and there you go. Not as burnt as the others, so that's interesting, but what about the taste? So it's pretty similar, but the main difference is the interior. They are very fluffy and they are also creamier. I absolutely prefer these. The only thing that would make this even better is if they would have a crunchy exterior and luckily there is a way to achieve that. Once again, I will peel 250 gram of mealy potatoes, cut them into planks, but this time I will take out a pot. The potatoes go in with one liter of water and also I will add one tablespoon of salt. This will salt the potatoes from inside and will make them a lot tastier. But the real magic happens with this ingredient, baking soda. I will add about half a tablespoon. As I write in Kenji's The Food Lab, this will make the water alkaline, which will break down the carbohydrate in the potatoes called pectin. Why is this useful, you might ask? See, after about 7 to 10 minutes, I will drain the water and now take a look at the potatoes. This here is a raw potato and as you can see, the surface is very flat and smooth. Now take a look at the potato cooked in alkaline water. As you can see, the surface has started to crack and looks broken. So I will add them now into the bowl again with a bit of oil and start shaking this relatively rough. After 30 seconds, you will see that there is potato slurry at the bottom of the bowl and that's exactly what we want. Take a look at the potato. The exterior is completely fallen apart and this will create the crunchiest potato possible. Okay, I will bake them again at 200 degrees Celsius or 400 F, starting with 20 minutes this time. One downside with this method is that you need to shake the basket two to three times because the broken exterior can lead to sticky fries, especially if the basket is overcrowded. But with a spatula, that's relatively easy. Okay, after 22 minutes, this is the result. They look pretty good, but now listen to this. Can you hear how crispy they are? I mean, this is almost deep fry crunch and the interior looks still fluffy as well. Let's taste this. Absolutely the best potatoes from all three by far. Crunchy, creamy and also tastes so much better because the salted boiling water. That makes a huge difference. I would only add seasoning the next time I make them. I would add garlic powder, black pepper or smoked paprika to make them absolutely perfect. So now that you know how to make the perfect air fry potato, you should check out how to combine this with a ridiculously good buffalo chicken recipe and see you there.